Logical Psychiatry Greetings The basic fact of today's topic is um, generally on my I saw a number of videos that uh, the feminists of today um, are getting a little more than out of hand they are getting more to the points of fairy tale. The little fairy tale land type of things to where they think they can get anything and everything that they want in the base of even when it comes to the base of Prince Charming and, and the glass slipper of Cinderella. Yet, here's one of the things that are bitching about right now. One that they think they, they can get a man to commit to them. Even as illogical and indecisive as they are. They think that the, that the guy should be able to accept that. Thereby, of course, at the same time, the woman would be able to essentially take the guy for everything that that person has. Being starting from what? And what I mean by what is, of course, and I know many MGTOW brothers know this. Women only want one thing from a guy even if they claim it's the sexual promiscuities and whatnot they only want this yet the one thing they don't get is that i know from the, in that even even if they even pay attention to, or even claim to pay attention to, is that we all have children within us. Both males and females have children, the children that we were once within us. In the female perspective, is that they had the imagination, which is a good thing, um, to where they would be walking down the aisle and marrying it their man that they that they chose to be with for life I mean I mean from from existence to the points of death I myself I don't like talking about that okay I don't even like the word death I don't even like seeing dead animals I don't like seeing dead anything okay but the basic fact is that's the that's the whole base of marriage is that you you are supposed to be with that one person, faithful and devoted to that one person through your whole entire being, your whole entire existence, with children or with not, with no children. But the fact of it is, is that even during the relationship, is that women are too indecisive and they are too impatient psychologically as well psychologically women have become more than majorly amount major loads of impatient then they will even admit themselves they've gone to the point to where they want things to happen for them and to them in a positive thing, in a positive way, in attribute or what have you, um, when they expect it to happen, they they they've gotten to the point to where they don't want to wait. Yes, life may be short, but the basic fact is is that life can even can be shorter the more impatient you are, because the impatience is like stress. Stress is known to kill one person. It doesn't matter if it's a male or a female. Stress doesn't fucking say, Oh, I'm only gonna kill the male. Or, Oh, I'm only gonna kill the female. Stress doesn't do that. 
Neither does cancer, neither does any other disease that there is, or even has been. With that also, the millennials need to realize this, this, uh, this as well. Millennial males as well as females. Millennials think that they're invincible. Many children, even even in my generation, and in the gener and in my cousin's generation, being the 1990s and the late 80s, and um, and even the in the beginning the millennium of those children think that they're invincible, that nothing will happen to them until actually something does, and sometimes it ends up to where they're no longer with us, and that's a sad. Part. We recently lost a female wrestler. Cause unknown. <clears throat> the one thing though too. Women are have gotten to the point to where they expect things to happen for them on their timetable. On their timeline. And their timeline is not realistic. It's not logical. It's not. It's not within the base of reality, even as we know it. The basic fact is, is that, is that women have expected way too much at a too short of a time. They want glitz and glamour like the fucking Hollywood starlets. Even they had to work at it. They had to be patient about it. But yet that's not the that's not the thought process in most in, in most, if not all women. That are not Hollywood stylists. They want to try to emulate themselves as starlets when they're not. Even if they've tried to go through John Robert Powers um, and any other acting agency and have not made it through the the numbers of however many, right? Yet they still want to act like they're starless and expect to get everything that they that starless get right when they expect. But yet, Starlet, the Hollywood Starlets work for it to get what they got and have and are able to get. You women have not. The ones that are not Starlets have not. So basically, you need to realize you cannot emulate someone you're not. By doing that, you're wasting time and energy, and and with that, you're you're making things worse for yourself. It goes psychologically as well as realistically. You're making things worse for yourself. You're not making things any better by expecting a guy to give you everything when you expect it. Especially when it comes to him spending his, his hard-earned cash on you. When the ERA has marching protested since 1970, from 1972 to 1978, for your independence, to where you, you were able to work in the working world and live on your own, and, and where you will not be able, where you won't have to be dependent upon your parents as well as anybody else for that matter, where you're able to vote, even though in the 1800s women were were allowed to vote, but for some reason or another it kind of was ignored. Who's to say why? Or how that may have been. <clears throat> the one, uh, the other thing is, is that you women expect things so much so that you want to be in a visual conceptualization, which in your mind is reality, which is not reality. But yet, in your mind, it is reality to where you're equal to the starlets out there in Hollywood. The 
this is not Peter Pan. This is not Cinderella's world of the and or even Snow White's world. This is actual reality, not not scripted, drawn, you know, sketched out, sketched out, and colored in type of reality. We're actual human beings. This is that that whole thing was a storybook mostly before even even before Walt Disney himself had it created in his own vision. And before it, it even before it came out to the points of a feature film, do you realize, ladies, and that not very many women know this, that that in order for Cinderella, sisters, evil stepsisters, essentially, had, um, it it said that even, I believe it's either yeah I believe it was either her either her evil stepsisters in the actual storybook um, outside the Disney version that um, they actually cut off their fucking toes a certain number of their toes in order for the damn slipper to fit they were so desperate for a man they had they did that They thought they they thought too damn highly of themselves that they actually went ahead and did that. They even thought they they were better than Cinderella herself. Nobody's better than anybody. It doesn't matter if you're the same gender or not. Logical psychiatry even knows this. The basic fact is is that you women need to realize in order to get things you need to be patient with, with things and with people and the way things play out no woman gets a no woman gets a higher base of entitlement more than the man i don't care how much you want to believe that you do you don't the entitlements stay even 50-50 The entitlement level levels always stay the same, 50-50. And even in courts, even if you were to take a man to court due to, a, say, a divorce, you think your entitlement's going to be like that? No. It's always going to be like this. Reality, ladies. Logical psychiatry says this. Is also is it... You women have been so indecisive, it's not funny. It's within the inner being of you. You wanting to fit into society, not knowing that you do fit into society. You may not want, you may not see that you fit into society the way you feel that you should. But the basic fact is, is that you've never, there was no, there's no separation between the two. Being, of course, that there's no separation between you, women, and the males. You still are treated, treated equally, maybe not in the working world, due to wages. And, of course, it's not the working world's fault on that one either. The one thing is, women are the ones that give give life, essentially with, the full, of course, the help of the male, of course. But the male only does one thing. The woman carries it, the child for nine months, though. Then she decides whether if the woman, if, if she can have um, if she um, wants to have the child or not, even if the man, even if the man says not to have the abortion, the man, most men realize it's their body, it's the woman's body, she can do whatever the fuck. 
in the sense of the abortion or not. The one thing is, though, too, if you ladies wanted to have a child without the guy, there's incentives. Or what's known as incentives. To where you, uh, I know there's another word for it, but I can't think of it. Anyway, but it, where you can go to a sperm bank, insert yourself. with it in a medical way there's med there's ways to do it and thereby as the nine months go through even after you find out by peeing on an EPT stick or whatever the hell else type of stick that they have out there in the market and I know there's a number of um, then say, for example, you decide not to have the child, then, yeah, you could have, you could, you'd be able to say, okay, well, I'm not going to have the child, I decide not to, even though you went through that bullshit and hundreds of thousands of dollars to do it. But at the same time, is that if you, if, if it went between you and the man, you also have to consider his his feeling towards it as well as yours, and he would have to do the same thing for you, equally. So, generally, um, you need to realize you don't get the higher base of shit than that you think. The one thing, one thing also. One thing also is that in the MGTOW community, many people, many of the feminist women want, in and not only the base of entitlements, but also they want, they want to, um, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, sexual freedom. They think the the fact that men have sexual freedom. What they don't realize is that men have to work at it in order to get to get to that point of what what uh, many MGTOW brothers and red pill definers say pump and dump. The basic fact is is this: you males know this as well as I do. Females need to realize that. That's not really considered sexual freedom, if you have to work at it. If you have to work at it, then, um, then, you know, the one thing is, is that, um, is you do not get it freely. It's not like the where you date a person, here you go. Put it in, put it in me, type of thing. You know, that's the that's the base of sexual freedom. If if that were to happen with with every guy, but the one thing is, you women don't get this, do you? So basically, it's not known as sexual freedom. Men have to work at it. You women have to choose whether or not to give it up or not. So therefore, it's not known as sexual freedom. You realize, once you realize this, then you won't bitch about have, wanting to have sexual freedom. The basic fact is, is that it doesn't mean you. Just because you're with, with one guy, you can be with others. In the spiritual world, in the spiritual world, as this is in its own right, as we are in a spiritual world in its own right, you cannot think that you can just go from one guy and be in, be with him for a certain length of time, and then right when he's working to make money for both of you, that you can go behind his back and and get and get at other guys sexually, and 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 you think that you're going to be forgiven spiritually. You way on 
Heavenly Father's green planet, which is, this is supposed to be. The planet we are is supposed to be green, essentially, is, is being destroyed by pollution, sadly enough. Mm, so basically, you women are not really, really thinking. The basic fact is even millennial women need to think this too because it is logic and it is reality. You cannot assume and judge men purely on the aspect of thinking, oh, they can get, they can, they think they can get any woman they want and they, and when they do, then they can, and they can uh, get to, you know, have sexual aspects with with a woman and not be blamed or accused of anything. A relic. It is even said in the MGTOW community that that if a guy does something with a woman, even in the sexual nature, that they can easily yell out rape and the guy is put in prison. But if a guy does that, it's a completely different situation where the guy usually ends up in prison anyway. At times. Not all the time. So women, you are not really, really thinking in the base of logic. The base of logic is this. You have the corpse. So in the sense of divorce, you can get alimony out of the person that you marry. And as well as child support if you have any children, that is. And you can also get the get a restraining order on, on guys, even the ones that you're not even married to. Or even the ones that you have dated. You need to realize this. You cannot get a higher base, you cannot get a higher base of entitlement, you cannot assume that, you cannot go to the points of judgment and assumptions by thinking that, that men have it easier than women. There's a percentage that women have it easier on, and there's a percentage that men have it easier on. And it's not always the sexual nature. Yes, women are seen as sluts, skanks, whores, and all this other stuff, right? When it comes to the se when it when it comes to them going from having sexual sexual intercourse with various different guys, and it's not really negatively seen as that way for men. When it comes to men, anyway. but the one thing is, it is seen as a sin both sides. You do not realize that, ladies, do you? The basic fact is, is that you sleep around and you think you're invincible of, of to where you won't get any diseases? And you think men can sleep around and not get a damn thing? Oh yeah, men, men will be able to get the same damn type of disease as you. Even if the woman doesn't have the disease. Even if, and therefore the same thing, if, even if the man doesn't have the disease, when it comes to you women, it can still happen. Because due to fluids and whatnot else. It's, it's uh, scientific. So basically, ladies, you need to realize this. We don't, we men don't have sexual freedom. Feminists need to realize we don't have for sexual freedom. So therefore, you want to have sexual freedom? You want to ruin the base of society and reality in the future? To the points to where the, the future generation will have diseases all the way through, even the non-incurable ones, right? And also the ones that also have where not one has even been even found a cure for. Um, that is, that is the, um, reality of things. You want to sleep around, 
with no questions asked, no if hands or buts, no no derogatory statements and all that, right? No base of thinking that you have sin when you have realistically and spiritually. Yes, men sin by doing that same thing. We men know this. You women obviously think that oh, um, if even if I sleep around, I I can I I can be forgiven each time I do it. Heavenly Father has has put it, put us on this planet to procreate, one, to be happy, most of all, to be con more than content. Heavenly Father also has put us on this planet to live our life, to learn. But he didn't, but he, but he doesn't like it when we do things that we should, we as adults, even, even teenagers and 20 year olds should know that is, a, is a wrong thing to do. Thereby is known as a spiritual sin. And we may be forgiven maybe one time out of several. But if we continuously do it, that forgiveness goes gone. General fact and logic, ladies. So, feminists and Me Too movement, women need to realize this. There's no such thing as sexual freedom. In reality, psychology, and otherwise, there's no such thing. Men don't have sexual freedom. Aside from the fact that, the fact that, the, that in society is viewing that, um, that men are not Put, put in derogatory terms as much as women are. In the name calling as it start with. Men don't even pay attention to that. At least most men don't. The ones that aren't really too much into themselves. But of course women think they, think they need to make a name for themselves. And they ha they worry too much about what type of name would it be for themselves. And even those women that claim that they don't care what name that they are called or even assumed as, yet they do within. You cannot escape. Ladies, you cannot escape that as much as you think you can, you cannot. And the other thing is, too, is that women have done this from the, from the age of four and five, to start with. Of using imagination, which is a positive thing. And it's very, very, very strong. We... Um, not not really required exactly, but it's a, it's a positive thing for even when you do um, play, play like like if they play house type of thing or anything like that, right? When they're using their imagination, I mean that's why they there's there's like tea sets and little play sets like uh, um little mm, little house little plastic houses or whatnot, right? And little plastic furniture type things, right? Besides the stove and And chairs and tables and for little forks and knives and such like that, right? The basic fact is, is that uh, you ladies at that age, those ages essentially, have used your imagination, which is a good thing, to be married to one person and only that one person. Yeah, but when you get older, you think you can just go around 
and the other and that guy has to be okay with it. But yet, when he does the same thing, you slap it in him right in the face and walk out the door. But yet, when you do it, when you women cheat on him, cheat on, cheat on the guy, you expect him to forgive you. Thereby, in a sense, you're saying, okay, if he forgives me, I can still do it. And he won't he wouldn't be any of the wise. If he finds out you do it and you're doing it at any given point, and you're you're pregnant because of it, and yet you claim that the child that you're carrying is his when it's really not, then guess what? You have fucked things up. For you more than him. He can easily just say, fuck you. And walk out. And have nothing to do with you. But so fucking never. Therefore, he can become MGTOW. Stay away from your indecisiveness. And the guy can easily stay away from your feminati bullshit and ways of thinking and the way that the feminists try to brainwash and manipulate men which is also a sin when feminists try to get away with that type of crap the basic fact is ladies the reason you can't find any men out there anymore it's not because of men. It's because of you. And this is not the base of judgment. Logical psychiatry doesn't do the base of judgment at all. The basic fact is, is that logical psychiatry does things on the base of logic and reality and truth and fact. Logical psychiatry knows this is an actuality. So, thereby, the MGTOW brothers and members and red pill definers mm, um, realize this is where you've been for a number of years now. And you don't seem to let up or even stop. Because, obviously, you still cannot find your place in society. Thereby, your indecisiveness is not is not helping you. It's not keeping you steady. Your within your in your inner being is not being steady either, ladies. If you are not steady and balanced, especially emotionally, as well as psychologically, you. You should know that your inner being is not steady. Neither is your mind. Your mind is going to be continuously going left and right anyway. Even if you are at times. I mean, hell, guys' minds are on the go as well. But the basic fact is, is that if there are most, most men, this is a lot, this is a truth too. Most men, not all, but most, are faithful to a woman. Even if the woman's not faithful to him. The one thing is also, ladies, is this, is that if you're not going to be faithful to the guy, you can't expect him to be faithful to you. And there's no, there's no, there's a base of give and take, for one. But also is that if you keep on taking, ladies, and, and due to the points of like money from the man, it comes to him buying you shit to start with. You can't expect him to give you more as you as you take, but you and you, and you, and you never give. Because if it, once he finds out that you never are giving, and yet you are mostly taking, he goes out the door. Your fault. 
You can try to disguise it any way you want to, but he's men are not stupid. Us men are not stupid. And you wonder why there are the um, if you if you've ever been cheated on, if the more you take, but hardly ever give, if at all. And it doesn't have to be sexual either. All on all, all the time. Okay. You need to realize. The more you take, and the less you give, the guy the guy's gonna be <laughs> trying to find someone else without you knowing. Just as much as you do without him knowing. Yet you you turn him back and you go right back to to the guy and expect him to forgive me. And then right when he doesn't. You keep on trying to reconnect with them from time to time. Not all women do this, but there are women that do that. Expecting the guy to still forgive her for doing him wrong. For cheating on him, essentially. For committing adultery in another way of putting it, even if you are or not married. It can be seen that way, even if. So no, ladies, men don't have sexual freedom, neither do you, and seeing that men don't truly have sexual freedom, you will never get your sexual freedom. And also, you ladies need to realize, the more indecisive you are, the harder it's going to be for you to even feel secure. Even if you're with one person, you'll want to you'll want to see if you're going to be secure with any other, and still consider yourself with that one. If you can't be, if you cannot be secure within yourself, ladies, and you can say that you are all you want, but you know deep within yourself, if you really take the time to look deep within yourself, that you're not. And this goes for, for millennials as well. Satisfi satisfaction is one thing, but realistic and logic is a complete separate. The basic fact is, ladies, is you cannot assume the negative things of men, even if men think the negative things of you. The reason we, the reason why we men think negatively of you is because you, you do stupid shit. You do the things that are literally unrealistic and. Uh, illogical and not very fair even when it comes to the base of relationships you expect a lot of things from men at the at, at, at the wrong level of time and the points of impatience and you expect it to happen on your timeline when you, instead of it, instead of it building instead of you you and him building up the relationship and eventually you'll get what you, what you have been wanting But you, got, you women, especially millennials, don't go that way, do you? Thereby, also, until you actually realize that of what I said on this video, you will never get it. Thereby, also, MGTOW members will never kneel down to you. No man that has enough sense and, and confidence within himself and belief in within himself will ever kneel down to you. Thereby, it's because of your indecisiveness that mankind and humanity is going to fade away. Because it's not the man who's causing this. It's you women. With the feminist movement. The current feminist movement.
and the Me Too movement. If the ERA that marched and protested from 1972 to 1978 for you women, especially in the, for, for the women of then to now and the future, if that is not enough for you, then they wasted their time and energy for nothing. You may thank them, but guess what? If you're going to go, if you're going to form into another feminist movement and be more illogical than ever, and 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 unrealistic, and um, and expect more than what's realistic and logical, then obviously the. ER, the women of that formed it and that were part of the ERA and then did the marching and all that, they did it for nothing. They wasted their energy and time that they could have easily done something else for themselves and their families and their loved ones and many other things. You need to really think about this feminist women, Me Too mo movement, women. And also the millennials that are in the same category. This is truth and logic. And actual fact. Thereby, also, you're going to be hitting what MGTOW calls the wall. It is victorious. It is unbreakable. It will stand there and wait for you women and it doesn't age. It doesn't happen to men. Men don't men will not hit the wall. Men won't hit the the foresty bush either if you wanna if you wanna call that the, fem the feminist basis of war. We won't hit the cactus. We won't hit the, um, what's the other one? Oh yeah, the Molesbury bush. What feminists might call the wall as well. For men. We won't hit the poison ivy base of the wall either. The basic fact is, is that it's said many times, even in MGTOW, MGTOW, um, grouping, <clears throat> that, uh, men age like wine, becoming more valuable as time goes on. Women, on the other hand, age like milk. Aside from beating a, a newborn with it from their bosom. They still age like milk. Not being that very needed and wanted ever again. Especially in the relationship aspect and dating. And what do women do to cause the fact of this? What are the feminists? What are the feminist women doing? They're wasting a lot of energy instead of being logical and factual and realistic by expecting a lot from the guy still. Trying to dumb him down emotionally as well as logically to make to where she's more superior than the men. Which is also sin. And judgmental, which is a sin. And she's wasting her time expecting things to happen for her when she expects it. And if she doesn't get it, she'll try to get it from other guys. And that makes you women more dissatisfying. The more, and you will be to the point that where the saying will be stronger than ever. To where it says, men don't need women. 
but women need men. But the basic fact is, is that you got you women only want men for one thing. Resources. You want men so you can get things like this. You want men to where you can get essentially items. You want men only for this. You don't want men for what you claim that you want. You want a man that loves you and I'll love him. I want a man that'll that'll take care of me and treat me right. Yet you don't treat him right. There's not always that's yes, that's another one. <clears throat> Is that there's not always like when when it comes to um a woman's little little vision, all oh, other men will treat me right. And I'll love him. It's not the base of where you uses you'll say that the women will say, Oh, and I'll treat him right. Equally. And he'll give me anything I ask for. Ah, there you go. There's the one right there. That's psychologically Ill illogical and unrealistic. You cannot expect things when you want them. Men can't expect things when they want them. So basically, it go is it's Dutch door action. You'll get things when guy get when men get. You'll get you'll get entitlements when men get various entitlements. Thereby, it's an even base. You women obviously are not are too blindsided to see it. Yet, because you expect things to happen right then and there. And it, and it has nothing to do with, well, life's too short. Life is precious. Life is the most precious thing, a lot more than you will ever realize, ladies. You want sexual freedom because you think that men have sexual freedom aside from the fact that uh, aside from the fact that men are not seen as sluts skanks gigolos whatever the hell else right 100 percent as much as you women are seen as sluts skanks prostitutes whores and all that right and you think that you're gonna be forgiven for sleeping around even if you're with one person already. You might as well be single and don't be in a relationship with any man. Because the because the, the fact of it is is that no man's gonna be a no logical level minded person of a male would want to be with a woman who thinks they can get anything they want when they want, which is especially in the illogical levels of things and on non realistic levels of things, even if the woman doesn't see it that way, it is what it, what I, what I just said. Instead of being patient, ladies, that's exactly it. Is. So, ladies, uh, you know the one thing is, you are the you are at fault for why there's not men out there. What you call the nice guy, but yet you always go for the asshole. And yet on top of that, when you do get the nice guy, you use the feminist brainwashing mind control. And you think that's just justified. No, it's not. It will never be justified. And it will also be sinful. That's another base of sin right there. 
So the so in all the Me Too movement and the feminist movement of today, not needed. Ne and never was needed because you've already had a place in society. And no, it's not the it's not the base of the housewife. Unless you choose to be a housewife. And it's not the base of um, the one that brings home the bread, as it were, as it as if there was a Mr. Mom um, agreement, right, between you and your man, right. The basic fact is also you. You need to realize this. You need to realize this more than you even will even acknowledge. Ladies, you need to realize this even more than you really, really want to. It's the basic fact in... And also, that's the basic reality of it. Psychologically, as well as realistically and factual. So, the feminist movement and feminist and Me Too women, and even the ones that claim that they're not feminist when they are, you need to really think about this. And as a, as one that knows psychology, psychiatry, you can ask me anything you want. But the basic fact is, is that MGTOW, I'm also a MGTOW member, but the basic fact is, is I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be talked into, into like, get your MGTOW member friends to, uh, to commit and sub, be subservient. Uh -uh. No freaking way am I gonna do that. No man with any logical sense up here and confidence and trust and belief in himself is going to be subservient to women, even the feminist women. So you need to realize, ladies, you can't get things when you want them and on your illogical base of timeline and expectations. That and many others besides what I said earlier in this video is why many men are going MGTOW. Thereby, you won't be able to get a guy to come to the plantation to where you can take him for everything he has, including everything in his wallet. So you need to realize this, ladies. It's you who caused it, not us men. You caused it with your indecisiveness. You caused it with your illo illogical expectations. You caused it with your ba your illogical base of going from one from branch to branch to branch, guy to guy to guy, essentially, and expecting the guy that you're supposed you really with to ex to forgive you, but yet you don't forgive him. It's been shown both ways, even on even on the Maury show, even on the Jerry Springer show. Even on every other show that there has been in today, even in today's world. So the logical psychiatry says you women are the most illogical, sinful base of humanity and gender that there will ever be. And even if you have two genitalia and but you're a woman, that's the same aspect. You need to realize you cannot expect that you're better and more entitled to get things more than anybody else, even more than the, uh, the other gender. You're not put on a pedestal as much as you think on that aspect is especially. You're not looked at as a favorable thing, as a favorable gender either. So, ladies, get this in your head because it will not go away. And yes, you will hit the metaphorical wall and it will be victorious, even in the MGTOW terminology. So, this is 
logical psychiatry. Live long and prosper.